this is Joe from Joe's Transformer Toy Reviews. What I have here in front of us is a 2016 Titan's Return uh, leader size class uh, Power Master Optimus Prime. Now, as a Titan, he's also a Titan Master slash Headmaster. Power Master Optimus Prime was a figure initially from uh, the 1980s series. Uh, he was um, Optimus Prime combined with this trailer. You'd have a little miniature guy that connect into the uh, cab of the, tra the summit tractor trailer as the uh, engine block, causing the enabling the rest of the Optus Prime to transform. And then you could combine that with the trailer to make a larger, much larger Optus Prime. This is designed to emulate the full on Optus Prime. The one we'll come out of the trailer. He does not have an intermediate mode, just the uh, regular Optus Prime sized character. It would be about deluxe size by comparison, so it's about the crunch. Now here we have uh, Optimus Prime, uh, Power Master Optimus Prime. His head moves back and forth. He has the helmet to enable that. Um, take the helmet off. It's hard to do with leaving the Headmaster intact. But uh, without the helmet, we still have a head. Much too small, but uh, that's what it looks like. The head is reminiscent of Ryan Pax. I think it's a nice little design. Um, he has several guns, as you can see. The guns on his shoulders could accommodate another Headmaster, Titan Master. That's what the gap there is for. You just fold out the miniature character and place them in. This mode will be uh, useful for the base mode, which I'll show you later. For now, it in and close that. All right, now this uh, character, this figure, is based off of the Ultra Magnus from Combiner Wars, also leader class. A lot of changes though, um, different look. Most importantly, these are the well, these are the same gun styles that uh, Ultra Magnus had, which required the gun hands to surround the handle. This one has the uh, added bonus of there being slots down below on the uh, portions here next to the hand. So you slot the gun in and then wrap the hands around, which makes it much more stable. Um, the Ultra Magnus would constantly drop his guns. These rifles will fit a little weirdly, but uh, they can definitely store down here, for example, on each leg. This is spot for now. All right, uh, he doesn't have a lot of special features, but uh, honestly, uh, he is very mobile. A lot of movement, and little tabs for these guns move in a very uh, impressive array of locations, uh, angles, and such. All right, let's go back to let's go to the transformation. He transforms into a tractor trailer, um, and I will now. Start removing parts to enable that. There goes his head. Oh, uh, his headmaster went in robot form. Looks like this. Now, um, Power Master Optus Prime had a different, entirely different character and name in the Japanese version called Jinrei. Or Ginray, and this is looks a lot like the character looked like when he stood it up. There's a human that uh, combined with the uh, robot looked a lot like Optimus Prime. Um, so let's go and transform. Let's go. It creates a seat in there. It allows our little Apex, as he's called in this version, to sit in it. Eh, this is kind of an afterthought. So if you're expecting a really nice, easy fit, you're kind of out of luck. Fold it up. 
see and then transform him. I do apologize, I do seem to have a bit of a light issue. We'll turn it off for now until it is resolved. Okay, so he does have a bit of an advanced transformation, but um, with many things, practice makes perfect. And transforming him is no different. Now the uh, Ultra Magnus, uh, also a cab, in this case would turn into a uh, uh, car carrier rather than a uh, cargo truck. If you're only familiar with uh, movie characters, Ultra Magnus is not a character in that. He was the original series. Um, but nowhere else. Well, I'm sorry. He has been in other TV shows and stuff like that, but not as... I could list them off, but uh, the characters tend to be quite different from another. He was... Um, I'll come back to some other now. Um, I'm just going to get this together. There is. No, oh, thank you. That's there. Oh, it's not going And of course, and uh, the gun is actually still on top. And next to the camera. So this is the uh, tractor trailer. Oh, that's not quite that big. There we go. There. Do proper movements. Now, as someone had an arm for a tractor trailer, I've never driven one, so who knows? Maybe they have more guns than they think. But uh, you also have the uh, tail end right here. Opens up to reveal. Pretty spacious interior. Now this is empty or uh, opened in many places, so it's not like we're in a cargo container, of course. Uh, the Ultra Magnus figure makes more sense as a car carrier, but I still really enjoy this design. Uh, I should I should admit uh, I do always I've always liked this figure because my oldest brother I was too young to have Transformers at the when this one came out. My oldest brother had one, and I would sneak to, sneak to play it. Whenever he was out having the chores and I was inside, he was not. Um, I was up playing with him. Um, do you remember what happened to that figure, though? I know that some pieces broke off, but I uh, still love the damn thing. Alright, so this is the vehicle mode. Now, the leader class in this series have a third mode, which is the base mode. The base mode is designed to interact with the uh, Titan Master or Headmaster. It's from the guns in order to transform it. I mentioned a little thing about my uh, brother's transformer, mostly because if I am, so to speak, looking through this with rose tinted glasses, that might would be why. All right, so with the little guy right here, and to go ahead and transform into the into the base mode. There's a little portion up there. Right. Now, just as a word of caution, you don't expect too much from base modes. They are a little abstract. You know, second start, and I'm assuming you can get a lot out of them, the more you're going to disappoint with what you get.
from here, you would put these ones here and here. And this one's going to go there and there. Now, there is multiple configurations, but I always found some of the most pleasing. Mostly because these guns have so many ports on them, these little different pegs. And you could put this is where the characters make sense to have these the guns. And you can also interchange some guns, which are the ones you like from the other series, because they also have, many of them also have spots for a figure to set. So there you go. This is the base mode on the places for the little headmaster stand or set. You have a little imagination with the child. And you get a little computer window or whatever you have you there. Um, another feature is that this will actually connect to the Fortress Max Maximus character and it can also then attach to Blaster. A pretty large base mode, although honestly, this figure is much smaller than the Fortress Maximus, so kind of get lost. But here you go, this is the final mode. Um, I feel like it gives plenty of space for the other headmasters to play in, and I find that for a child who could actually get through the transformation, and of course, some adult, perhaps some adult assistance, I believe that they'd have a lot of fun. Uh, easily, I imagine a child of between five and eight would probably have a lot of fun. Child of five would need uh, a little bit of help, possibly. Depends on the child. Here is his trade uh, card that he comes with. The artwork's pretty accurate, like it always is. Um, Power Master Optimus Prime, ten strength and intelligence, eight speed and eight firepower. I'm not sure how a tractor trailer can even achieve a speed of eight, but okay. Autobot Apex. Five in strength and intelligence, and four in firepower and speed. I do feel that uh, firepower should be a little higher, but what do I know? Four guns, six barrels, who knows? Well, there you go. That is the figure. I do find this to be um, an entertaining figure. I may be a little biased towards this one. Don't know. Uh, please leave a comment or uh, and subscribe to my videos. I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much. This is Joe signing off. Please subscribe. Thank you.